How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today we're going to talk about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your iPhone. More specifically, leaving them on all the time, every day, all day, will it actually drain your battery? Will it actually use a ton of your battery and you should just turn them off when you're not using it? Well, let's talk about that and let me explain you the reality. Okay, so right off the bat, I have to tell you that no, leaving Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on, even when they're not connected to anything, they don't drain your battery. Not at all. Actually, leaving them on while they're not connected to anything, those features use pretty much no measurable power. It's actually irrelevant. So when you are out and about and you are, for example, uh, connected to your 4G or 5G and you are not connected to any Bluetooth device, right? So you have them on, but you're not using the features. This is irrelevant to your battery consumption. Just so you have an idea, those features together, uh, they'll use pretty much one to 2% of your battery every 36 hours. So every one day and a half, they'll use one to 2% of your battery. As I said, that's just irrelevant. You shouldn't worry about that at all. Another number that's pretty interesting is if you could actually disable every single feature from your iPhone, absolutely everything, and just have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled and not connected to anything, right? Your iPhone would be able to run for at least two months. So that's how little power, how little battery they actually use. And this becomes extremely clear when we go ahead and open up our settings right here and then tap on Bluetooth. And as you can see right here, this iPhone is only discoverable while Bluetooth settings is open. So while when you are on this very specific page, then it's discoverable. When it's not, when you're using every other page on your iPhone, using anything else, and of course, when your iPhone is turned off, when it's sleeping, whatever. So when you're using your iPhone normally, it's not being discoverable and it's actually just a receiver. And that's the same story for Wi-Fi as well. So when they are not connected to any device or any network, they're just receivers. And that's why they don't use pretty much any measurable power. It's absolutely irrelevant, all right? Just adjusting your brightness like 1% here will use more battery than Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It's like that incredible. And last but not least, it's actually recommended that you leave, especially Wi-Fi turned on all the time, simply because using Wi-Fi uses less of your battery than 4G or 5G. So then leaving Wi-Fi always on is great because if you are in your home, work, uh, in a friend's house, um, I don't know, like uh, school, university, wherever you are, if there is a known Wi-Fi network, it will connect automatically and it'll actually save you battery. So that's pretty much it. A pretty quick, straightforward video letting you know with facts and information that as a matter of fact, you shouldn't worry at all about leaving Wi-Fi or Bluetooth turned on. It just makes no sense to keep turning them off all the time. Uh, it's just a waste of time for you. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next videos with you guys. Bye-bye.